and Jennifer. A very important moment in their lives. Marriage is commanded to be an old ball, a Mongol man, and therefore is not by innate. My faithful partner and my love from this day forward. In sickness and in health, in good things and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally and to support you in your goals. To laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as you both shall live. We can applaud, yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 My best friend, my faithful partner and my lover from this day forward. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in joy, as well as sorrow, I promise to love you unconditionally, to support your goals, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to cherish you as long as we shall both sludge. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank Jennifer's parents, Annette and Vincent. They have made, made me feel welcome from the moment we met. And even more when they realised their daughter is stuck with us big daft. <laughs> but seriously, they've been such a help to us and we really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank my mum and dad, Donna and Stephen, for raising such an amazing son. <laughs> mum, you're always there for me and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. And Dad, you taught me how to drink beer. <laughs> so thanks for that. And also support Celtic, so cheers for that. Yeah. <laughs> I always like to say how stunning the bridesmaids look. Yeah. You've been such a help to Jennifer, and I thank you for that. And <laughs> thanks for the best men for making me look more tall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's also a few people who would have loved to have been here today who are sadly no longer with us. Who we always are always in our thoughts and in our hearts. So whoever it is for anyone of you, I'd like to take a moment to remember someone you love. There's no, it can't be here. Um, just a few words about my new wife. Can't 
put any words to her amazing, she looked today. We've come such a long way since the first time she knocked me back to go to the <laughs> Everything you see today is down to her. I haven't helped her as half as much as I should have. So, thanks to you for that. <laughs> Inside out, you're the most beautiful person I've ever met. Inside and out. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Just before I finish, I'd like to mention a wee story my granddad told me today. Um, just before my grand passed away, a few years ago, he told me he went to see a psychic and she told him that Someone named Jennifer was going to come into his life. And that this is it. <laughs> so, read her for us. Take a shot. And let's have a good one. <laughs> having a great day so far uh, because what a day this has been. You have all got the place there. I double missed a uh, best man speech. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're right, I mean, I eh? <laughs> <laughs> to follow up for Keel's speech, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually matter, no sweat, eh? <laughs> uh, but ah, uh, you might want to talk up your drink. You'll come here by the way. Back angle, is it? Oh, aye. <laughs> 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 Mate, you can't eat. <laughs> Boys, good ones here. Right? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. Yeah, my driving glasses, mate. For fuck's sake, my glasses. The boy can't even drive here. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Right, as you all may know, as we met in primary school. We were best pals ever since. I remember because Kieran came from a different primary school before he came to our school, and that was St Bridget's. And the full school was to report to the assembly room and sit there with our legs crossed, awaiting someone to come on the stage <laughs> and introduce herself in front of the full school, saying uh, what their name was, <laughs> where they were from. <laughs> and uh, everyone who knows Kieran to this day, <laughs> that must have been fucking brutal. Mate. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the difference is now is um, Kieran is now tall, dark and handsome, as you may all know, right? Um, and me and Dan have managed to stay the same height. <laughs> but the only difference now is he's gone mine and he's gone bald. <laughs> <laughs> me and Kyle found out we're going to be best man. We sat down to discuss all the memories we had with Kieran for the last 20 years. Um, Kev's got one called a tripod, but <laughs> that's his memory. <laughs> From kicking about the streets of the East End in the schemes and spending their youth up the tunnel on a Saturday night, to following Keelns or I love the Glasgow Celtic all over Europe, we came to realise the only thing we've got in common is like, you're fucking mad about it. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, um, talking about Kieran getting mad with it, there's a great example of what Kieran gets up to in a night out. Uh, we're going to do a wee practical joke here. I think we all put an envelope on your table. Can you all just pass it round about the table just to see what Kieran's like in a night out? I'll tell you a wee story about Kieran when he was sober. About 14, 15 year old, and uh, a local takeaway shop's called the Spice Boys, right? <laughs> Kieran phoned me, damn it, you're doing that. Outside the shop's waiting, he's like, there's a favour going, and the shop mate, Fraser. I'm sitting there, alright, alright, I'll go in. Next minute, the Spice Boys phone starts ringing. Abdul answers, betting the Spice Boys, right? Hello, <laughs> Spice Boys. He's in the back, noises. You fucking bad. <laughs> Man, who? 
Kieran Fondy's like, do you hear that, mate? Aye. Is that, mate? What did you say to him? Fondy, you know, you get part of that, I don't know. And that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, I remember Kieran. He came back to my house one night after the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and Kieran was rolling about the floor, speaking to a girl on the phone, <laughs> and she kept hanging up on him, and he kept saying, I don't know what she hang up for, <laughs> I just got to phone her back. I had a belt on it. I had a belt on it. Dressed up like a joiner. <laughs> My mum went off her knock. <laughs> Uh, and that, that goes to show the consistency it pays off because now they're proud homeowners. They're proud homeowners together and they've also got a horse called Caesar. <laughs> no, but honestly, it's been absolutely fantastic watching these um, both grow together as a couple and we couldn't be any prouder to us. Seriously. <laughs> I think we can all agree uh, the bride looks absolutely beautiful today and the bridesmaids for the amount of effort he's all put in support the bride and the run up to this. Uh, we would like to thank everybody who came over early with Kieran and Jen to help them with the run up to things. Uh, I know that will be widely appreciated with the two of them and the amount of stress that to offer them. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> I think a lot of people up to this wedding thought we are going to do a Synchronised speech together. I'm not really wants to disappoint you, are we? No! Uh, oh, no <laughs> we would like to thank every single one of you for making the effort and going the extra mile and being here today. That in itself shows how much we are all touched. Ah, eh, no seriousness. What a beautiful, stunning couple you both make, and we wish you always happiness. We would like to thank you both personally for letting us be part of this French fairy tale. You've made no real dreams come true, but probably a lot of people here today come true for letting us experience this here today. <laughs> yeah, that's really starting. Yeah. We've still got a great future ahead of Dewey's. He's absolutely stunning, Dewey's. You're a power couple. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's all we got. <laughs> no, there guys, can we also um, raise a glass for the people who couldn't join us today, please? Thank you. <laughs> we can't, because we couldn't help you here. And uh, uh, also, you've all got a shot on your table. Can we all please open that up and take it? <laughs> and take it. <laughs> Okay. Hey, everybody. 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 Hey,
Aqui, ó. Piraxi. Ó. Piraxi. Michaela, you're a bit late. She's a bit in there. We have Buggy. Oh, well done, guys. Let's get him to him. The GBA, so. Michaela missed it. Jennifer. <laughs> Yeah, man. Looking good. Oh, 